What's up, guys? We're back with episode eight. I know we've been gone for a while, but we back. Um, episode eight is called Real Relationships. Um, we normally don't do shit as serious as this, but today we're going to get into it. Yes, guys, we are back. Um, I guess we're just going to start off by kind of like the little icebreaker. Yes. yes. No. The ball is in your court. <laughs> just passing. Um. So yeah, we just took a little bit of time off. Personal reasons, things in life, you know, life be life, and, and you should just mind your business. Uh. <laughs> it's really simple. We back though. That's the what matters is us being back. Yeah. Back in this bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To throw that in there. Put that in there. Um. So I guess we can start off by. Asking each other questions. questions pertaining to relationship. Yeah. Really start off by showing everyone embraces. Really, to say cheese. <laughs> Just say cheese. <laughs> yes, I'm back in braces. Um, brace face. Um, so, what is your ideal relationship? Platonic and monogamous. Huh? Can you ask another question first? Yeah, that's a long one. That's a, I don't even that's like, a intense question. I don't even have. That's a long question. Because I dead ass don't have an ideal. I don't have an ideal relationship. You know what you want? That's what I'm saying. That's all it is. <laughs> it's what you want. What you want. Like, I don't really know what, what I want. Huh? And I'm not looking for anything you don't want either. No nigga that ain't got no money. No, nah, I don't. But I'm yeah. not like looking for. I don't have like an ideal man because I don't like. I'm not looking for a relationship. You don't want no short nigga, five, five. No. <laughs> Okay, so you th- th- you are answering the question. I just don't want to answer the question, honestly. Like I didn't. That the first question is just like. Yeah, that's that. that I was, was like, you that was too much. To the shit, bro. Well, what the fuck do y'all? Then I'm not asking the first question. <laughs> the fuck? That was a lie. Yeah, yeah, like what the fuck? What? It's a what the hell do y'all want to ask? Start think about off that. light though. You want to start off too? light? I don't have a question too. She don't you have a light question. Well, you should have got that. Oh, well, then, yeah. But either which way, she started off, so answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> she like, she blink, man. I'm thinking, because, like, I'm not going to say I don't give a fuck about no, but, like. The basics, bro. Three of them things. What you? do you look for in a friend? When you have friends, what do you want your friend to be oh, to no, you? Like I said relationship. platonic and, and monogamous. Okay, so we'll talk about a platonic relationship first. I need my friends to be honest. Okay. Honestly, relationship and friendship, I can't really, like, a lot of sensitivity isn't going to work for me just because of the type of person I am. Like, I'm blunt. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. I'm going to say it how I want to say it. Not intentionally to hurt your feelings, but I, when I feel how I feel, I don't consider nobody else's feelings. So if you're a sensitive friend or a sensitive uh, boyfriend, it's probably not going to work because you're going to feel like I don't care. Do not cry to me either, please. Shit get real awkward. I don't know how to deal with stuff like that. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm very much like a woman. <laughs> um, for my friends, I also um, like dependable for both relationships, people that I can depend on. Um, I got a problem with like expecting me out of people. So I need somebody that's like me, that's like giving and caring like me, that has a heart like me, so that I'm not offended when I feel like you don't fuck with me. Like I fuck with you, does that answer your question? Is that good enough? That was great. Baby, listen, that was your answer. I can't. You answer that question. Um, For as far as a relationship, I just need my partner to be loyal um and honest if you feel some type of way if you want to do something whatever just talk to me first like i'll respect you more as a person if you are honest with me somebody that can communicate well um it's a monogamous mm-hmm. um, loyalty and honesty though in the platonic relationship yeah, as well. i'm just trying to understand um i want somebody that knows what i need Without me having to tell them. Like, I want to... For sure. <laughs> because some people have a hard time, like, it's expressing It's not even being or, a mind reader. Or saying it. It's that. not being a mind reader, like... You just want somebody that connects with you. It's, yeah, we it's have like that connection. connection. Like It's like you just know You know, person. like, I need something 
without me even saying it. You want to ask me? Boy, fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, oh, uh, what else? Um, someone that is about family because I'm big on family. Um, I have two kids, so I want you to love my kids like they're your own. And if you have kids, I'll do the same. Um. I ain't gonna say the regular stuff that people know, like, I don't want no broke nigga. You yeah, know, that type of you don't stuff. Want yeah. that cheat. That's a good those things are given. It's like common sense. <clears throat> and I just want somebody that I feel like they give as much effort as I do and vice versa. Like, I don't wanna feel like I'm putting my all into this relationship and you putting in forty percent, you know? Sure. Um, in a platonic relationship, I want a friend that is understanding. Um, because I may not be giving you a hundred percent of me at all times. And I need you to understand that. Um, <clears throat> of course, loyal, honest. I also want you to be able to communicate. Um, and I don't want no weird shit. Like, I don't want to feel weird when it comes to me and your relationship. Like, I need to know, like, you solid. And I also give, um, I mean, I'm sorry. I also used to expect people to be like me, but I don't do that no more. Because I just know that it's a given. You can't be me and I can't be you. You could be considerate though, bitch. That's growth. Yeah. I expect everybody to be. I'm not expecting me out of nobody. And then just one more thing for the monogamous relationship. What? Good sex. Oh, yeah, that too. I think that goes without saying. No, I don't. Because some people be in relationships and the sex is not that great, but the person is, like, amazing. So do I got to answer the question, too? You can. You can. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pass the question over to Voss. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it ain't much for me. I really, for the relationships, platonic and monogamous, right? I think that... uh. In both aspects, I want somebody to fuck with me like I fuck with them. So we're in a relationship for like monogamous and shit. I go hard, you know what I mean? I'm like a real lover. So bitch, you gotta love me. You know what I mean? You know, question in between. And with my friends, I'm a like generous giver. Like I love niggas as far as you know, like I give everything to my friends. They ain't gotta do that with me. They just gotta be good friends. You don't have to give it back to me, but fuck with me how I fuck with you. You know what I mean? You can give in other ways and shit like that. So that's kinda it. Do you feel like you need to know everything about your partner's past relationships? Yes or no? And like, or what do you feel like is imperative for you to know? Um, I feel like if it was something that was like a trauma to you or that really affected you as a person, I feel like I should know everything about your past relationships. No, I don't even care. Um, because it's not our relationship and I, I don't want to base our relationship off of your past or anything like that so yeah I pretty much agree so <laughs> it's not much yeah because I definitely don't want to know need to know I feel like sometimes you overshare oh, and it definitely. can fuck up the dynamic of the relationship as well like just telling too much but I also feel like that naturally happens though in a relationship. You start talking, talking. talking, yeah. You're just talking, so you're gonna tell about your past experience. But that's something that I've also learned too. What? Not to tell everything because a lot of, excuse me, guys. They, and I'm not gonna say a lot, but guys and women, they'll use that against you in your relationship that is too. True. What? Shoot that shit back so fucking like, fast, like. Or if it's something on. that. You may have let this guy do in your past relationship, and you tell this new one, oh, well, she is. She gonna let me do this because she gave that nigga 16 chances. Yeah, this nigga three, so he didn't give me no three. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> Absolutely not. But, yeah, but yeah. I, so I've learned to stop oversharing because I did used to do that. Yeah, and it could change the dynamic of the relationship. But I don't, yeah, bitch, don't play with me. I ain't play with the last one, and I ain't gonna play with your ass. Don't play with me. I mean, it's not that I don't care. I just feel like, of course, certain shit is important to know. It's certain things you want to know. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think I need to know everything. Like, your ex could have, like, bodied a nigga. And I would want to know that. 
Why? Why? Why is that your business? <laughs> he ain't come to body you. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't put you in harm's way. And I ain't really, I ain't really too, I ain't really, I'm not really doing too much talking about my ex. Like, I'm not finna, he Because I'm gonna feel like you might, yeah. What are we, what are we still we talking talk about, about this nigga for? Like, he, it happened, this what happened, now this shit is over. But like I said, if it's something that was traumatizing to you or affected you in that way, because if you got a crazy ass ex, I need to know that. That's more for what I'm trying to yeah. say. Yeah, okay. In okay, that that's regard, cool. yeah. I will tell you that. I'm going to tell you that before we ever even end Yeah, I'm going to let you know now. This nigga's slow. You, I'm going to give you a chance to carry your ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You feel nah, what I'm saying? Do like, you yeah. keep a blicky? Yes or no? Cause he... Are you comfortable using that motherfucker? Because we might have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going like, uh, yeah, to start it. thinking about this relationship. In there. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't a relationship. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. I gave you that option. Yeah. yeah but you're going to know that before yeah. the relationship. And then I'm going to probably just have to body the nigga myself because he ain't going to keep running my men's away. Yeah, ain't nobody trying I mean, to be you... all left for no goddamn relationship. Had to shoot a nigga. <laughs> Sometimes you got to shoot a nigga. Nah, I'm a nigga. <laughs> Sometimes you don't. What <laughs> 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 Ain't no love word that. Tomato, all... tomato. All right, you can book. No, nah, for real, because niggas be tripping. Yeah, but that's your ex nigga. I just came in, I'm hitting, taking y'all to eat, dinner, everything smooth. Now I gotta run with my pistol, cause this nigga might run up on me and I gotta shoot this nigga. And then I'm gonna be like, was the pussy worth it? After I shoot this nigga? Well, let's say the nigga shoot me. I'm gonna be on the ground like, damn. <laughs> what is this pussy worth? <laughs> I'm gonna put some, some bees like that sometimes. I'm gonna pressure to that wound, and we're gonna get you to that hospital. And I'm gonna like you even more because you got that gunshot, motherfucking wound. Oh, he survived the gunshot. <laughs> hey, look, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just joking, y'all. Okay, y'all. Next question. <laughs> I can tell the type of people y'all deal with, by the way. <laughs> Listen. Who? <laughs> Dini. <laughs> Okay, so how do you feel when people say stuff like blood is thicker than water? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Why? I think before I experienced life, I would have just like ran with that blood is thicker than water stuff. But I just feel like sometimes, for real, sometimes your family be worse than outsiders. And you know what I'm saying? Like blood makes you related. But in my opinion, blood does not make you family. So blood is not thicker than water for me in that regard. Cause like I said, I'm related to you, but bitch, the way you make me feel, the way you treat me, like this ain't family. Fuck you talking about it. And I don't give a fuck. I'm cutting any and everybody off about my motherfucking peace. I don't give a fuck what role you play in my family. Yeah, I felt that. Fuck you mean. <laughs> I feel like this though with blood. I don't play about my family more, though. Exactly. Still, like, I grew up with these people, like so they know me more than my friends or anybody will ever know me. And I'm in the front, and the times that I'm like down, and just down the most, is usually my family. I'm gonna turn to before I turn to my friends. Oh, I'm just not turning you know to nobody. Uh, come on, my baby. No, I, I gotta get through it, process it, and shit, and then. But when you go through shit though, you usually some people go to their friends, some people go to their family and shit. I always found out like the people that I, that know me since I was a baby type shit, like Ray helped me raise me and shit. I always revert back to them. My friends, they deaf too, but like blood is just it feels like home. It feels more for, more. For me. But blood also can be like the enemy. You know what I mean? Like you got fucking people in the family that have been molesting motherfuckers and you go into Thanksgivings yeah, and shit and you gotta see shit like that but that's blood though you know what I mean so blood can also be like yeah. you wanna shoot this nigga you know what I mean so it could be a different but blood always I feel like is a little bit thick in the water. I get that too you know I, mean? Yeah. I mean cause I'll go to war with my family exactly. but I'll also go to war for my family exactly. you feel what I'm saying and I, so it's just a complex question it's yeah, kinda it's hard to just too. like say it is or it's yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I, but my, a lot of my friends are my family now too, period. Like, shit, I'm in some of my friends' family group chat. For me, I just feel like the family that I'm close to or, you know, that's the only ones that really matter. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, immediate family. Yeah. It's not even my immediate because there's like people that aren't in my immediate family that I still what love. You mean immediate 
feel like the ones you're around all the time. Yeah. You feel like you call on the yeah. Show, you know what I mean? Even if they may be second, third cousin type shit. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a day in my circle every day. Yeah, yeah. so um but I don't play about my family. Like them the yeah, they them the ones that can really make me go there. Um, but my friends that I have, I've been friends with most of my friends outside of what two of them for ten plus years. So they're like my family. Like, um, but family can also be the ones that do you the absolute worst. But I don't mind, and I don't mind cutting off no family. Like I can cut you off. I'm gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But. And you might feel like, oh, she put her friend before me. Well, you know, she was more of a family than you were. Um, But thank God I don't really have those type of issues with my family. We pretty close-knit. So is blood thicker than water. (sighs) And some, it can be. It can be. In general speaking. Generally speaking, but everything ain't general. Okay, it it, it could it's be. Yeah, it's circumstantial, like you said. I think we all can agree on that. Mm-hmm. We all love our families. Yeah, right, right. Come on. Yeah, if we all agree, family. say I. I. Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, they. Yeah. My, my family. Because, woo, friends, I done been through some shit with my friends. Woo. <laughs> <sighs> Turn up on your ass. <laughs> anyway, um, I you just asked that, didn't you? Wait, that question. Yeah. Okay. In relationships, will you lie to protect feelings? Platonic or monogamous? <laughs> Both. <laughs> um. What do you mean? You know exactly what I said. Like, I if you're in a relationship. Are you going to tell her if, if there's if there's a situation where you can lie and protect somebody's feelings? Like, no, I'm not. OK, <laughs> so let me give you a scenario. <laughs> you cheat on your boyfriend and he asked you about it. you going to say that. Nigga, yeah, yeah, I cheat. If if he asked me about it, first of all, if you're asking me, I feel like, you know. So I ain't, I'm not going to lie, but if. I'm, if you're not asking me, then <laughs> fuck I'm telling you. Huh? <laughs> but I've also been... So for me, it's kind of... Right now where I am in my life, I'm going to tell you the truth. If you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ain't going to be forthcoming now. But ask what you I have know. also been the person that did something and came home and told somebody. But that thing else some get back type shit. My main point is to say if the nigga is innocent, I'm not cheating. That nigga cheat, but you let's say you did, because that's, did, her, sir, that's her, her, her little scenario. Let's say you did, and he a good nigga, he ain't done that, and he asked you that shit just off who knows. You are gonna tell that nigga straight up? Yeah, I fought a nigga too. I cheat, a deceive, heartbreak, and I won't let you back. You a cold motherfucker? Telling that on my mom. Well, I don't really. I don't know because I've never been in that type of situation. If I did do something, nine times out, no, ten times out of ten, it was because you did it first. So I used to be that get back type of person. Yeah. So then she don't give a fuck. But that's what I'm saying. I don't know because I've never been in that situation. I don't know. It's possible that she would lie, but she can't say. I don't know. If I'm a, that's crazy. (laughs) What you gonna do? What you want me to lie lie to protect feelings? On my mama. You gonna lie because you. If uh, if I got if I if I'm <laughs> not about to, I'm not about to tell no girl like You're... I just cheated on you, my nigga. That means I don't even care about your feelings. If you care about her feelings, you should never cheated on her. You perfectly right. But what? What? The There's fact, no but. The scenario. See why the scenario. He's talking about the yeah. He's I'm saying talking, for the scenario. I'm talking, I'm talking about your. <laughs> <laughs> why change with me? He right off the rip. Yeah, I'm a lot to the bitch. I'm because I'm saying your in your scenario. I I ain't no cheating ass nigga. You know what I mean. Now, I believe I, that. I, yeah, but I done done it before, but I'm not I'm not a cheating ass nigga though. You know what I mean? So yeah, if she's a good girl, I'm not about to try to cheat on her. But if that shit happened and she a good girl and she asked me that shit out the blue, already as a girl, so I'm definitely thinking like she, she might know, know something. Mm-hmm. I'm still got in line though, like cause I fucks with you. I love you. See, for me, see, I don't want you to lie no. to me because that is I feel like you insulting my intelligence. That's the lie is what's gonna get you up out of there. Yeah. Oh, what you got proof? 
Let's if I ask you, ask if I'm asking, I already know something. I got proof. Nah, I probably got, 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 I got some shit. in the bed sticking this bit. Oh, oh no. You got that? That shit ain't happen. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking and about? And this shit ain't happen. <laughs> yeah, I, tell tell that's what, ass. I just said I want somebody to tell me the truth. I've had a guy that I was with for years. He cheated. And he told me with no problem. Like, he care about this, you. that's not true. Niggas ain't doing that. <laughs> He this is. is a He's a scary. different type of individual, though. The period. And I ain't even being funny. Like, that was the first guy I've ever dealt with that didn't hold back nothing. Like, he like, if you going to be with me, you gonna, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. And I don't care how you feel about it. Well, That's your choice. You shouldn't have cheated. Secondly, That's true. Secondly, he even shouldn't have came out and just been freely telling you. That's a double negative, my nigga. You cheated for one, showing you don't care. And then you didn't give a fuck about the feelings. This is something so that you I cheated. Okay, but so. it won't like that how you saying it. I'm just saying, but he didn't lie. Like he won't no liar. Him? You ask, you initiate or he just came out. I probably asked. Because if he didn't ask, that's even crazy. No, <laughs> I don't think he just. I don't think that nigga just walked in. Told me, yeah, like yeah. I just finished fucking this bitch. I just cheating on your ass. Yeah, nah. And if you gonna be with me? It's something transpired, but shit. like he, what? It won't like a man. No, or, man, what you talking about? It was just like. And yeah. I'm a bold, yeah. Bold, bold nigga, man. You're a bold nigga. No, man. he different. What I do? Oh, girl. <laughs> you accepted it. I did accept it, but See? it was some shit behind it. He accepted yeah. some shit, too. Yeah. Hey, man, like but it was shit. like, I couldn't even do It's like, damn, this nigga really told me the truth. Like, I've never had this before. Like, and I respected him more because he told me the truth. Then I won't give him a pass to keep doing it. He won't like a uh excessive cheater or nothing like that but it was just like yeah, yeah, yeah. man he, there's some truth yeah, for your yeah, ass yeah, yeah. Like, like but kind of did at that point you did i guess some niggas still a lie you just said you would off the rip he said he not you see me in the act <laughs> shit did not happen straight like that <laughs> Woo. Yeah, ladies be careful out here Watch out for this mystery, I mean, I'm man. Not that kind of anyway. I don't, I'm not no cheating that nigga, so I don't have to worry about shit like that. So we get out this motherfucker. But if that did happen, that would be the case. I'm protecting your feelings. And I would lie to my friend, too. Like, oh, yeah, I ain't even out for that part. Yeah, but my friend. If I'm it's, not lying to my friend. I'm, I'm be definitely real, not lying like, to my sorry. friend. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's scenarios where I'd be like, hey, look. No. Man. No. If I see my friend, like, girl, I don't know. Like, if you see your friend. I'm a lie to a nigga if I lie to my friend. Girl cheating on him and shit. I'm telling it. I'm telling you. Girl, okay, let me tell you this. It depends on... I'm not going to lie to them, but I may not tell them. What if you see them cheat with the other friend? What? So First of all, I ain't going to fuck I'm, off. They're, they're going to hear about I'm that situation. I'm going to fuck off. I don't have to tell them. They're going to hear about it. Yeah, because I'm going to fuck off. Because Ronka seen such and such with such and such, and she went... What? I'm going to I'm going to go her ass and his ass. I'm going off. Like, bitch, what? Yeah, no, that's now that's crazy. <laughs> I'm going on. That's fucking crazy. That shit liable to be on the news. But if I have a friend and say I see her nigga cheating for the first time, of course I'm going to tell my friend. Yes. But if this is something that's happening all the time and you still with the nigga, yeah. there's no point in me keep telling you. Because all she going to do is cry and take him back. Why yeah, and things? then you might start feeling like I'm hating on y'all relationship or something. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like... But I'm going to tell it at first. Okay. But after that, I ain't going to keep running back telling you shit. Well, that's a bad example because I would tell my homeboys it. Exactly. Yeah. Like I'm not going to lie to my friends, though. Applebee's with a nigga, dog. <laughs> my mama, they were getting a four for four special in that. <laughs> that is not. That's Wendy. You saw. <laughs> it's the two for oh, 20. Really? 20. Damn. Oh, not the four for four. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? And she deserved that nigga. She not four for four. four. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bacon mm -hmm. cheeseburger head Exactly. Um, <laughs> what about you? Oh, you're not lying to your friend. No, I'm not lying to my friend or my man. I don't think she's capable of lying. No, I am. No, she's capable. Oh, I am. We're all capable of lying. The filter is just not I, there. I'm more like, I'm more like, damn, I ain't even about to do that. Yeah, just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. I don't lie though. She can lie. She no, can. I can lie she though. Your methods. Please no, don't. No, no, I can lie, but I don't lie. Everybody can lie, but I just feel like you just so unfiltered. It's just like I just don't be caring, but sometimes yeah. I do be caring, but you like Siri. 
If I lied to you, yeah, if I lied to you, I don't give a fuck about you. Nah, man, that's a that's a harsh. I don't. That's harsh. Cause if I, I, I don't think that's true either. The people that I lied to, you didn't lie to me before, bitch, and you give a fuck about no, me. I just not ready for you to know yet. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. But, you, but I eventually tell the truth. But you still lie. I always, that's not. But you can omit the lie because the truth was told. We're not even talking about that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna talk about a lie if I came forth with yeah. the truth. That shit, that lie no longer counts. The lie is null and void. You should not that's even put that up. That's, that's crazy. Real, Cause sometimes I do that. Like I, you should have even put that up. Intention, no, I'm just lying right now. But yeah, cause I need to hold it over. Say the truth, probably. You know what I mean? But right now, my. But a lie time. is a lie. No, you can't. You because I'm right there. Right in that situation, I'm yeah. not ready. Y'all crazy as hell. But I'm gonna tell you the truth, so I know I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not now. Your method. All right, now. Come on. 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 No, I'm you a horrible liar, by the way. My yeah. slow ass told all truths. But she's not a horrible liar. That's the crazy part. Yeah, I'm horrible at that shit. Like, you don't know. Why would you keep. What's up <laughs> with you? She You're not a horrible liar, though. She put your shit on blast. She's not a horrible liar. But I don't be lying to people. You niggas gonna watch that shit like a word? That bitch lied to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably a lie. <laughs> I don't be like so it don't be my situations that my lies get used for. Like nah, I use my lies yeah, for the greater when, good. I remember one in the one episode Not you were like you had an ugly nigga or some shit. That and she like, lied to him so he was fine. <laughs> exactly. Those are the type of lies. Okay. And she's a good liar because this dumb ass believed her. <laughs> nah, for real though. <laughs> so you gotta you go. make your man feel good though, you know. And that's that's lying right there in a the relationship. <laughs> hmm. So, I mean, was, I take I guess you, I your outfit cute, stink, ain't going to be like you bad. Damn, nigga tell you like how I look. You going to be like your look. outfit look sharp. You look sharp. <laughs> he look Boy, you got on your Sunday's best. You know, sometimes ugly niggas be looking cute. <laughs> Neck down. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie though, y'all, but I can lie. I'm capable of lying, and but I just choose not to. But don't play with me. That's her favorite fucking line. Anyway, um, because people be watching my, these episodes and they be picking apart shit, thinking they know my life. That shit be crazy. Well, yeah, I are telling your life on it. But you don't know. You will never know my life. Some of we, we know. We know you a good liar. I I I am a good liar, but I don't lie to these niggas though, okay. and I don't lie to my friends. That's good. The nigga ugly though. You gonna tell him he? Yeah. No, I ain't doing that shit no more. Neither because, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm never doing that shit again because this nigga. Ego got so motherfucking boost, and then it got to the point, and I was like, "Who the fuck is he talking?" You know what I'm saying? Like he started. You to your ugly ass. No, I started to. That's when I started. <laughs> in, that's when I started saying all types of shit. Like you. That's how females do. You start snapping your little dick ass, mm, ugly nah, ass. It, I ain't lying about no dick Stinking size. <laughs> but yeah, nah. So that I would never do that again. <laughs> I ain't lying. Truth always up front. Facts. I do believe in I'm that. Telling, Don't so, get mad and start telling truth. So no, I'm gonna tell you, especially about something like sex yeah. and all of that. I'm. <laughs> yeah, don't get mad, like, nigga. No, I'm not. We, we gonna have to talk about that in the act. <laughs> Damn right, baby. What's what's that? That? We gonna have to talk about that in what the act. What we about to do? <laughs> <laughs> what's that, nigga? Uh, uh, uh-uh, I'm hungry. We about to eat that. This ain't. That's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go get food. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely done that before. Oh, that's bad. What you do? Not to say we was gonna get food, but like, stop the nigga. Like, oh yeah, I want that sex. And he just stop like shit. Why you stop it? He won't pay. What 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 we going to do with that? Damn, I get a shrimp. That's ridiculous. A clitoris. Mm-hmm. Don't do the nigga like that. I ain't want to bump Gucci that night. Anyway. Yeah, gotta be in the mood for shit like that. I mean, man, bitch, the female tell me let's go eat when we want to get it in. I'm like, man, what you talking about? What's... <laughs> We're about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat. <laughs> For me to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got... <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what's something that really make like what really make your day? That's a lot. Damn. Now, cause it be real like simple shit for me. Like for real, it be like real simple shit for me. Like mm, name one. I'm trying. I can't think of it like right off the bat. Man, though. Like, in the I don't think that's gonna make my day. Side shots in the morning definitely making my day. 
for sure. Yeah. I'm going to walk in the world singing and skipping. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, you look so nice today. <laughs> Nigga, like, yeah, she just got some dick. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, uh, but, but no, know. or like, um. Niggas already know. Um, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, like a little sweet text, you know what I'm saying? Like in the morning when I wake up, it's like a little sweet text or some shit. Or like, some shit like that. But yeah, I don't know. It's simple shit. I can't really think of it. Or like, if I got a favorite thing or something and I'm at work and I get a knock on my office door, like, you got my favorite thing sent to me, like, at random because you were just thinking about me, that would, like, make my day. You know, stuff like that. Little cash out. Money. Always makes some money. I was going to say that. I send cash outs. I pay for haircuts and shit. I just experienced that recently. It's a new year. It's like, I never had experienced it. Hell no, nah, Jane was sending me $40 every week. They got to get my head cut and yeah, shit. I, I really wanted to get it back, but I was like, shit. Me. That may have offended you her, know. though. Huh? That may have offended her. I gave it back one or two times because I ain't really used to just taking money from females and shit like that. But I thought it was a nice gesture. That's all she wanted. She, she just wanted doing to. it, though. Not keep she was back. just trying to reciprocate yeah. the energy that you was giving her because she appreciated you and so she was silly. trying to show that. I was $40. I could keep her fresh. Facts. I don't like, that. I don't like this girl. You get your hair cut every week. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes, yes. sometimes I stop because that should have pushed you. You saying yes about him? Yes. <laughs> nah, nah, this nah. nigga get a haircut Monday and then say Saturday he going to get a haircut. He don't I got my cousin like that. He ain't around me like that. That nigga get his haircut it's every trust Thursday. <laughs> no. Trust what I tell you. I'm like, nigga, you just got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> that's my cousin. He do it every week. I mean, but yeah, so that's I like that. I like that about the woman. If you doing shit like that, that's you dope. I like it. Kudos, top tier type shit. For me, um, something that really makes my day. Um, I like words of affirmation. So like, if you send me a text or something, you know, just kind of wishing me a good day or. Um, on a Tuesday, you just send me some flowers. Nigga hit you with the good morning, queen. No. <laughs> just not gonna work. And not the grand rising either. Yeah, grand. I thought that is. Fuck no. I'm okay with that. I need that. something more original. I mean something like. With the hotel shit. Or send like a little cute song. Mm-hmm. Something oh, like that. Music for me what? is like top tier. Make my heart smile. Like if you tell me I listened to this song and mm-hmm. thought about you, it's like, ah, you might be laughing, but. But niggas, niggas gonna see the tape note. Y'all better. Don't take no. Don't take no. Listen to a song and shit. I'm married. Oh, what you say? I ain't going Because that ring is on that ring thing. Uh. What about flowers and shit? Y'all don't let me get out there. Nigga, I just yeah, said, she said that. On a yeah, random Tuesday, that. send flowers. Yeah. I said on a random Tuesday, you just send me some flowers. I love a flower. I, I want to be a flower. So, yeah, flowers are if nice. you send me a flower, I only think I had one guy. I ever dealt with juice flowers. That shit is sad. Wait a minute. That's crazy. What? There is somebody that did flowers, bro. Oh, you said you only had one. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you ain't had one. I was about to say you definitely had one. Oh, no, one. no, no. It's oh, only yeah. been one guy that. Nigga sent you flowers. For real, I don't know. People that. I get flowers from guys that I don't really even know. Okay, okay. Big shit. You know what I mean? Got I got some, some sunflowers and some roses. They were sent to my job. Thought that was nice, but like that ain't gonna get y'all niggas no coochie though. Did it make your day though? No, they were really pretty. There you go. Until they died, I was sad. Yeah, I, like I only re- I can only remember one person. So if you did it, I don't want to impression the person. Gotten, I don't remember. I've gotten more edible arrangements than I've gotten flowers though. Those two, I've gotten those. I'm, like I'm the same that person. Deal with me, no. I no, like I them. had more than one person to me edible yeah. arrangements. Let me tell you that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, okay, bitch. And that's too much. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, or like send me some lunch. Feed me. I love a lunch. Please feed me. Food, that's going to make my food, motherfucking man. day every right. time. Please feed me. My friends send me, have like randomly or send me stuff like that though. More so than a guy. Yeah. It do normally be a girlfriend. Yeah, my friend. Well, words affirmation. No, no, like flowers. They do that too, but like, like not flowers. I ain't gonna... Oh, my friend sent me flowers too. She did. She She pulled up with flowers and stuff. One day, um, <clears throat> but I was saying like lunch, like oh, yeah, cash out and be like, girl, go get you some lunch. I get cash. Girl, go get you some Starbucks because I love Starbucks. It seems like it's a good thing if girls that be friends. 
Yes. Niggas don't be doing none of this kind Cause of Because y'all shit. think everything so... I ain't never send nigga no cash out. Gay money. or... You know what I'm saying? No, I'm going... I'm going like, nigga... I'm going to cash out my homegirl. My nigga look at me like, nah, bro, you got them paying for my lunch? So if we want to extend you a cash out, like, lunch on us, yeah, how y'all would feel about that? girls. So I'd be like, true. So if... Oh, you ain't going to send it back. So if he cash out you lunch, for... Yeah, like so if he cash out you for lunch, you going to send his, send the bread back now? I'm going to inquire first, like, nigga, what's, why are you sending me this? <laughs> God damn, go get you something to eat. Shut up. Well, why? You do that. <laughs> what's the agenda behind it? It's no agenda, Nothing. Though. I mean, knowing me is because you probably done did a thousand things for yeah, me. Yeah, like, what the fuck? It's like like appreciation. Right, so once we get back over that, then I guess I'll take it. But I still, as a man, I'm like, you know, like, why you do that shit? That's why I don't, for real. What's the, why, what's the point? I wish men could be better friends to each other. I mean, we could be good friends. We just don't do. We don't. We don't think like to have those little simple gestures like how y'all do. Like, we definitely can't bring any no flowers. You know what I mean? That shit be super weird. Yeah, we bring blunt to smoke with a nigga. You know? I'm bringing blunt to smoke with my homegirl too. But bottles. that is true because I was saying to somebody, <laughs> there we go. There we go, I was right. saying to somebody something, something, something because right. Veronica did something and then it was like, and you might have like paid my phone bill or something. And the nigga was like, she paid your phone bill, and I was like, yeah. He was like, why? I was like, no reason. She just, you know, it's my friend. See, paying my homie phone bill, that sounds like what? You paid your homie phone bill. The same thing as Monica's paying my phone bill. But now, Why? Imagine, now imagine that you got a girl and you tell your girl I paid my homie phone bill. What's your girl going to say on top? What y'all fucking? I would not say I that. I would not say that. She going to imply some gay shit. I like, might be like, this why? Nigga bill? As soon as y'all get into it. I might you say something this? like, well, what you pay is everything okay with him? Ass, something man. like that. But I'm not going to be, my first thought, I don't think that. Everything is gay. Yeah, I, yeah, that's I just not how I'm not necessarily yeah, carrying. Yeah, I definitely be trying and to And I don't understand. Stop <laughs> saying y'all. I'm just saying female. I'm guys. different. And then in the contents, like, what are you telling me that you pay his phone bill for? Because that, that shouldn't even be like, yeah, like, why would you, you did that for your homie? Like, what are you telling me you pay? You might, like, like, where, you might ask me, what happened to the little $50 you had? I'm like, man, I paid my nigga in her phone. Okay, that's okay. different. You ain't here. Well, if you didn't have the $50 to give, motherfucker, then that's a conversation. Because you ain't had a $50 belly for yourself. That nigga phone should have been the fuck off. He should have waited till he got on the Wi-Fi to call that bitch. But if, because man, <laughs> you, with that $50 go, oh, I paid Tyrone phone bill. Bro, you ain't have $50 to pay Tyrone phone bill now. Yeah, you have nothing. Yeah, yeah. So that's a different conversation. And I ain't even calling you gay now. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> And I wanted a burger, and now you can't even buy me a little fo for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Now I'm mad. Nah, you won't be up your last. Yeah, nah. Not your last, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know. Okay. You're next. We just different females and men. Have you ever changed anything for your partner? Like anything about yourself, your personality, your looks, anything? Have you ever changed anything for somebody that you were dating? Mm-hmm. Wait. Um. I have changed like <clears throat> I've told I've been told that I was handling somebody. <laughs> he said I was handling him. Mm-hmm. And I know sometimes I can be like too forthcoming, like too rough. I can. It's just the alpha in me. So I kinda like tone it back a little bit. Um Feminine. Yeah, not even that, because I'm very feminine, but I'm also Did he laugh? A dominant. That was the one. <laughs> That's it, ridiculous. I am feminine. Y'all don't think I'm feminine. It was the way you said it. That's why I laughed. Yeah. Um, you but, yourself be saying you ain't, you know what I mean? For not like feminine, but you ain't like no being. Look at us. Aggressive. We as ladies. I'm really shit. not even aggressive. Yeah, I, a, I don't get that. I just more so you ain't, you like more like a tomboyish in a sense where you're not, you're not expressing, you're not like girly girly. You know what I mean? You know how the girls can be real girly girly and shit. I don't get that from you for real. I'm not saying you ain't feminine. But yeah, I I just toned it out a little bit because I told you I was trying to be my look. You got girly with him? Not girly, but <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like, you know, I apologize and then, you know, I try to explain to him that that was not in my intent, you know, but that was how he took it. So what you do to that nigga? It's just the way she be talking. I do. I'm, it's the way she talks. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I be like, and as a man, man, as a man that 
it feels like this yeah. is fair. Yeah, bitches and shit. You ain't calling you in this block no bitches or nothing. Call I don't be calling him bitches. Yeah, you can't call Maybe him like, no bitch, bro. I might call him a bitch to one of y'all. Yeah, I feel like I heard you. Face, though. That nigga a hoe before. Huh? I feel like I heard you call him a hoe before. That ain't cool, nigga. <laughs> he was probably <laughs> acting like a hoe. <laughs> Ain't nothing. I no, for like, real, because I feel like, like I heard you say specifically, man, stop acting like a hoe. Oh, no. Nah, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. I don't remember that. So I'm yeah. not I'm not going to agree with I that. I feel like I heard yeah. that. But I, I, I could be wrong. I don't. I probably said you acting like a H. Oh, that's what you said. Yeah, you didn't say I word. Say hoe, I said she said H. Oh, that like, is what she said. Yeah, like. But he said stuff like that to me, because you acting like a B. <laughs> he won't say bitch, because he don't, no, don't keep playing with me. But. Yeah, I just, <clears throat> I'm trying to. That was like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but that wasn't what that particular situation yeah. was. But I was, I wasn't right in that situation. So. So you apologized. What about you? Have you ever changed yourself or anything about yourself for a relationship, physical, mental, personality-wise? <clears throat> I think I I'd be trying to change in the beginning maybe, and then it, uh, I think I just go back to my old ways and shit. But I do I, I try to put effort and change. I feel like I I do change, you know what I mean. But I still sometimes revert back to old ways and shit, you know what I mean. But yeah, I try I I try to change. Never succeed though. So no, so ultimately you don't change. The answer is no, correct? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you going back to your old ways, then no. So let me say it like this. All right, so I feel like in a relationship, yeah, if there's some put to me like, yo, you need to do this, do that, I definitely work on that shit. You know what I mean? But I also feel like throughout the duration of a relationship, I might revert back, and you might have to tell me a year down the line, six months down the line, little shit like that, where like, yo, you know what I mean? You was doing better. Can you? But now you going like, back? Touch, you know what I mean? That kind of shit for real. Cause I be in my own head a lot of the time, so. But you have you you changed the effort, it. Yeah, I'm gonna put okay. the effort to make this shit happen for real. I ain't that kind of nigga where I'm not gonna do that. You know what I mean? So, that's kind of what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I want a person to change. If I'm fucking with him, like if it's something I bring to your attention, I want you to you know what I mean. Acknowledge that shit and put forth effort. Okay. Cool. You didn't answer, ma'am. Um. I don't really feel like I've changed anything for my partner because I feel like me and me in a relationship is not like the same. Cause like, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Don't, but like in a relationship, I'm very like soft and like, you know what I'm saying? So, but I feel like I've been in a relationship that changed me and it wasn't like for the better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I've allowed relationships to change me and turn me into somebody that I wasn't, like, happy with or somebody that I didn't want to be. So maybe, yeah, the answer is yeah. But, like, areas of improvement, I'm the shit. I don't need to. <laughs> That's just really how I feel. It's just, like, you going to accept me or you're not. Like, Because so, um, I be chilling. I'm, like, Khadija and KP are different. In a relationship, I'm going to give you Khadija. You're going to love it here. Yeah, but, but if you make me mad, KP coming out, I'm turning the fuck up, and I'm not dialing that down. I'm not. So if a nigga address you like, yo, there's some things I feel like, not some things, but there's certain I things. I got to agree with them things. Okay. I have to agree with them. In relationships, I feel like you got to compromise. Mm -hmm. It's about sometimes you got to compromise. To make but it sure. has to be within reason. Yeah, for sure, for sure. A lot of times, niggas, shit don't be within reason for me. Some niggas just be, but you just said you was perfect. You ain't got to change shit. Yeah. So a nigga may come in. So bitch, you is not perfect. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> She's talking about, yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm generally the person that realizes my flaws and I'm very like accountable for my actions and shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, who cares? Like love me or leave me alone. Too raggy. Um <laughs> That's just how I feel. What advice would you give your younger self? Don't settle. Like, my younger self settled so bad. So bad. Like, don't settle. Like, bitch, just focus on you. Like, where about you? Where about yourself? Don't settle. Where about yourself? And I think, yeah, that's it. Like, relationship wise, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't settle. Worry about yourself. 
don't give more, don't pour more into a person than you pour into yourself or more than they pouring into you. That's what I would have told my younger self. Oh, and maybe be a hoe. I feel like bitches that was in their whole phase when they was younger, like most of them are like in these happy relationships and they married and stuff. But me, I was being stingy with the cootie cat. And now look at me. Always yeah. be stingy with the place. I'm still stingy with the Don't place. never be no hoe. Don't tell younger self that. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. I can't say that. I never got the experience the whole phase. I might have needed to. Why would you want to? I don't know. Bitches, we having fun. Ain't a bunch of dicks ain't fun. Different dicks? I wouldn't be able to tell you because I didn't get a chance. Whole phase could lead to other shit. Could have used like what? I Eight. fucked around and dropped the rubber. Not being a whole lead to that. <laughs> He's talking about like what? Babies. <laughs> All not being a whole lead to that too. <laughs> All it takes is one, one nigga. Yeah. encounter. I could have fucked you can one have guy eight my whole life and a baby. gave me all of that. But being a hoe makes it more... Hoes use private. condoms? I'm just saying. Y'all get the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> 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 Don't be no hoe. No hoe phases for no little... For no young girls or oldie girls. But no young girls need to be watching this. It's YouTube. No, but it's 18 and up. <laughs> okay. Young girls shouldn't be listening to the city girls, but they do. That's their mama business. Okay, 16, your mama can't stop you from doing none of that shit. Y'all here listening to Sexy Red. It's <laughs> not a town. Tight shit, exactly. 16, you don't hear that shit. I don't be doing that. So, no whole faces, ladies. I ain't say that. <laughs> just saying. What you telling your youngest? <laughs> not to be a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, and I just had it in my head. Y'all done went on this fucking hoe binge. <laughs> um,. Oh, to believe who a person show you are, show you they are the first time. Okay. Like, because I'm the type of person, I give people a million chances to fuck me over. I done rolled and died, rolled and died. Rolled and died, rolled baby. And died. Rolled and fucking died. Like, Lesson God said, if you come back to this gate again, you're not getting in. Because <laughs> I done died so many times. So believe who a person show you they are the first time. Gotcha. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I would tell my younger self just don't be so uh, don't be so stubborn and shit. Me being stubborn fucks up. A, I done fucked up a lot of shit by being stubborn. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm like just as an Aquarius nigga, I be like stubborn, wild stubborn. You know what I mean? Like. Mm. So I just be more so thinking like, I done fought up so much shit. Yeah. <laughs> I done fought up so much shit being stubborn. I would tell myself like, yeah, don't be so stubborn. Don't be so hard on people, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. Are you asking me? Yeah, I need you to answer this. <laughs> uh, don't expect, don't expect, uh, you to be treated how you treat people. Mm -hmm. I would have told her, her, her. I'm still struggling with that, though. See, I, I but I've grown it I can't, out of that. I can't advise myself against something that I still struggle with. So, bitch, you got to get over this now at your big grown age. Because I still be ready to do shit to people when they make me feel slighted and shit. I'm kind of just getting over it. Nope, I ain't. So, y'all saying y'all would... When people tell myself don't do shit to somebody. When, when people like, do... Treat no, no. Don't, <laughs> don't expect, expect you from other people. Because yeah. when people do oh, yeah, shit to me, yeah. I just be like, damn, like me though? What? Me? But you, That's how I feel, but so you I mean, I used to feel. If they did, that shit is more so my point. Like, you're going to still treat everybody with the same amount I of respect. Take Even it, though they're not giving you that. You I want to take it to heart more and... Nah, I just don't, for me, I don't, I, don't take, I don't take it personal anymore. No, I'm not yeah, I don't even expect it from you. Like, I don't go into situations expecting it because... I used to go into situations expecting yeah, it, and when it wasn't that. returned, yeah. it would just bother me real, yeah, real bad. Yeah, yeah. So now I just don't expect it. Okay, yeah. no expectations. Absolutely. We should definitely go with that in life, period. <clears throat> no expectations. Um, so, any friendships or relationships that have ended Do you care to get any of those relationships back? And what part did you play in those relationships ending? Um, if we're being completely honest, no. At this phase of my life, 
I don't care to make amends with anybody that I fell out with just because I feel like if as friends or whatever type of relationship we had, if it wasn't something that communication could have gotten us through, then you need to go about your business anyway. You know what I'm saying? Or if whatever I'm doing is offending you that much, and I won't say that I'm innocent. Sometimes I guess I don't meet people's expectations. I'm not perfect. I'm human. I feel like a lot of times in friendships, and this is more so with women, like your friends will hold you more accountable than anybody. And sometimes people always keying on the like the one time you couldn't be there or that one moment you couldn't make something happen for them and totally disregard everything you've ever done throughout that friendship. And no, I've never done anything for anybody because I wanted to throw it in their face if I did anything out for you, it's out of love. But what I am saying is you're not about to play with me because I couldn't do something or because I couldn't be this person for you in this one situation when I've always been there. Mm -hmm. And in that regard, if that's how you feel, Hey, your ass, like, I'm good, I'm gonna be okay. Every relationship isn't for me, and some people are just here for seasons and for phases, and I might have taken something out of that relationship and learned from it, and I can grow from it and move the fuck on, period. Like, I'm at peace wholeheartedly right now with every relationship in my life. And I'm sorry, like, you just gonna have to watch from the outside, catch them on Woo Child. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I stand on that. For me, um, at first, it was relationships that I lost that I was interested in trying to fix. Um, but now, I'm just like, it is what it is. Like, shit happens. Um, the part that I would say I probably played in it um, I kind of was like not very considerate of the other person's feelings. Um, and it was more so because I was like zoned in on me, like how you making me feel and you not even realizing how you're making me feel. So it kind of like made me not be considerate of what they were feeling. Um, but in retrospect, I still feel like my feelings was valid and you disregarded my feelings. So why should I take yours into consideration? <laughs> and that might not be right, but that's just what it is. Um, and also because I'm always the person that is there for people or whatever. And then that one particular time, this is all you are like. It's like you basing everything off of this one this particular entire, time. That's yeah, like, this entire, this entire friendship and off of one situation. like it. And, and again, that's another thing. I was given something of me and expecting it from another person and they weren't giving it back. So... Yeah. What are some deal breakers for you in a relationship? Um, Both monogamous and platonic, by the way. Might as well just go ahead. Um, platonic deal breakers for me is not communicating with me, lying to me. That is like number one for me on both platonic and monogamous. Because who the fuck am I that you got to lie to? Um, shit, I don't even know. Eh. Um, weird shit. <laughs> I don't like What's weird, weird shit. shit though? Like delusion. Like, well, what, <laughs> like, like, what does that mean? Like, you got to elaborate. You creating issues that's not even there, like, because of you feeling some type of way, but you don't even think about what the other person may have going on, maybe feeling like, you know, I'm very considerate of the people around me. I'm the type of person that'll just text you randomly and be like, hey, just think about you. How you feeling today? You know, you you good? And... <clears throat> Not even knowing if something wrong, it because it could be or it couldn't be. Um, but I don't just put my feelings onto you because of the way I'm feeling, 
or put my fingers on to, onto you because of how somebody else made me feel. Because people do that too. Um, relationships, of course, the honesty the shit. If you lie to me, it's like top tier, top of the line for me. Like it make me want to get violent. Um. Uh, Sex can't be whacking gas. Oh, you can't have no baby on me. That's dead. If a baby is a deal breaker yeah, for me. Sticking it out. I think that's go without saying. No, but it's not. I know people that are relationships that, that. And I mean, and I'm not judging nobody. If that shit works for you and your family, you yeah, know, I'm talking about my deal breaker. But the fuck, what you yeah, got? That going shit on. dead. But a baby for me is dead. Um, it ain't a deal breaker though. I'm not gonna sit here and say cheating is a deal breaker because. I've stayed with people that have cheated. But would you do it now? I don't know. I like that. I don't think I would. I'm not sure. That's a good, um, answer. That's a good answer. Cause I haven't been like with nobody like that in in a while, like four years. So I don't know. Um, in my mind, I tell myself, "Hell no, I'm not staying with you if you cheat." But again, I don't know because. <laughs> I might get into a relationship that um deeply in love. Who knows? I don't know. It's circum it's circumstantial. Let put it like that. Um But a baby is dead. <laughs> yeah, cause I don't want this little baby around here. Like, none of that shit. Nothing. Ain't none of that like, shit. Uh, the bitch who had the baby with, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat on her every time I see her, like in front of the baby, like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's just none of that shit. Can't and I don't like, wanna be like that towards nobody's kid. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's a sense of resentment that you kinda can't control. Yeah. You know hard. what I'm saying? You can't control it because every time you see that child, it's like a constant reminder of this the infidelity. The kid ain't do nothing. Though. The kid yeah, did. That's do why anything. I don't want. That's why I that's would why just I leave you alone. Because you. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like that towards nobody's kids. Because I would hate for somebody to be like that towards mine. Because yeah. then, it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, like having a baby on me is out of the question. Having a baby is not out of the question. But like, if we're together and you cheat on me and you get a bitch pregnant. I'm up out of here. I don't give a fuck if we married. We're divorced. Like. Makes sense. That shit did. Ain't no motherfucking stepmom around this bitch. What's your deal breaker? Um, so for friends, my deal breaker is like shady shit. Like jealous shit. Like I don't like stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. Um, Disloyalty for both. And for friends, let me see. Like, just a bunch of drama. Like, I just don't want friends that keep a bunch of drama and bullshit going because how I am about my friends. Like, your issue becomes my issue. And if you always got issues, God damn, bitch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, and then, like, in a relationship, like I said, um, disloyalty is a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm going to say cheating just because, and and I could be wrong. I'm not saying that I would never stay with a dude that cheated on me, but I just feel like, for me, I feel like I left the person that I've been most in love with ever in my life, like a person that I thought I would never be without because they cheated on me. I ain't do a bunch of different chances and trying to make that shit work. I knew in that moment, like, I love this man so much, and I'll never be able to look at him the same. i never trust him, and our relationship is going to be full of a bunch of insecurities, me accusing him of shit, and it was just not fair. So that's why a cheating is a deal breaker for me, because in the back of my mind, I don't know if I could ever let that shit go. And what type of relationship are we going to have moving forward if I can't trust you? If I think every time you hit that door or it's a possibility that... It's gonna be miserable, so we gonna break up anyway. Put the locations on. I ain't doing all of that. If I if I shit, feel... I done done that shit before. Nigga left his phone in one place and was gone somewhere else. Well, nigga, open that. Shit. Listen, yeah, so <laughs> that ain't even. So that's why uh -uh. that's why cheating is a um an abuse, 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 mental, verbal. Like I ain't. Oh yeah, that, that shit. too. See, I ain't never abuse, really had abuse, that. So abuse. I um I ain't even thinking that. And I'm. What? Because I'm trying to figure out if I can say, like, I've never been in an abusive relationship, but... You haven't. I feel like my last relationship was abusive. It was not abusive. Yes, it was. You beat him up. It was verbally Okay, abusive. it was abusive. He verbally abused the fuck out of me, bro. To the point that I felt like I had to put hands on somebody. <laughs> and he bit me in my face. That's abuse. Girl, you ain't fucking been in no abuse. You've never been... And also... That was domestic. It was also, abuse. Also, <laughs> also, also... Domestic 
Also, he slapped me in Miami. And what you do? I went the fuck off. Exactly. What? Abuse is when somebody is abusing you and you're not doing anything. We were. (laughs) And it has to be consistent. Like nigga, what your ass? One day, nigga, my what your ass? That was two times. That wasn't consistent. Two times too many. The verbal abuse was real. Nobody should have been speaking to me in that manner. How many times though? He did it Monday, he did it Wednesday, he did it Wednesday, Friday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe okay. skip Sunday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that's that shit. Yeah, and then um, yeah, and that man. was toxic. Is yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Cause who the fuck you? I'm not even talk. You not? We not, can't even have a conversation. Yeah. And, and you keep talking to me like that. And yeah. bad sex. That that's definitely a deal breaker for me, like, cause I'm not a cheater. I'm not stepping outside of my relationship. Honestly, I be faithful to niggas that I'm not in relationships with. Once we start having sex, cause I'm not fucking nobody else. Like that's just how I move. So, um, I'm like I be talking to other niggas, but I just don't be fucking other niggas. You know what I'm saying? So bad sex, I can't do it. I'm not waiting for marriage. I got to sample the motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Marriage. People still wait for marriage. Where, where, who, where? It was it okay. Somebody somewhere. Somebody is though. Somebody has. The wedding I just did, they supposedly waited till marriage. They did, yeah. I think they lying. Exactly. The who? I said the marriage I just shot. They supposedly waited till oh. marriage. So you mean to tell me? I gotta try. I'd have fell madly in, madly in love with you. Enough to be like, yes, I'm gonna be your wife. And we get in that motherfucking room. They gonna whip out that micro. It ain't even, even if it's not micro, because a big dick can be horrible too. True, yeah. Nigga pull out That's whatever true. he pull out. I feel like you should be happy if this shit is big enough. If Why? that shit is big <laughs> and it's not no, no, if, 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 if it's not good, what the fuck what is the fuck? difference? <laughs> big shit just up there, turn right, down right. walls and that. Knocking shit over. Yeah, turn down walls and shit ain't nothing. No, no. I like you can adjust with that. No, I'm not adjusting with shit. I'm not adjusting with shit if it ain't good. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, we getting this shit a no. Tomorrow. Um, yeah, dry ass pussy, definitely deal break. What's y'all deal breakers when it comes to women? Well, the relationship, my, my deal breaker is cheating. You cheat on me, bitch, I'm dumb. I ain't even playing no tight game. That's so. 99.9% of Men can't handle they stuff can't like handle that. It. Y'all can't handle stuff like that. Hell yeah, no, nah, I can't. You know what I mean, like, I can't even. I feel like I would feel like a bitch, a hoe. <laughs> Like, I got down. <laughs> so when we forget these niggas, we be bitches and hoes. I done been cheated on Definitely. you. Definitely. Know? I done been cheated on, you know what I mean? Then you left. Damn fucking right. Okay, that don't count. We Have you about, I went back, though. That's what I was about to say. Did you go back? Because it yeah. would really count if you I, left. Yeah, and you I went, went back. Because the, the going back convincing was pretty good. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. You was she, back in a relationship? Yeah, he went I, back. I ended up going back in a relationship down uh, like few down months down the line, you know what I mean? Oh, you needed a break. You need to you need to get your just go back. I, you needed to get back and stuff. You had it's to make yourself get, feel better about it. We break up. Oh. No, but that that's how well, I, I, I already had uh idea you that was cheating was cheating too. going on, so I got my get back before Oh, so you cheated as well. You cheated back. After the fact. <laughs> okay. You know so you so she cheated first. For sure. Oh. And you're sure of that. For Why sure. did she cheat first? Oh, baby daddy type shit. You know what I mean? She had, was... she went back and fucked her baby daddy. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. why? Did she say why? I mean, the relationship was early. It was like a, we was just only together for like six months. You know what I mean? That oh, okay. Yeah. So they were still six when, months to a year type shit. They were still fucking when y'all started talking. I don't know all that. I just know she basically because I had. A, but y'all was fucking. I, I did. We was in the relationship. <laughs> Fucking yeah, damn right. We in a relationship. We <laughs> no, I'm fucking. just trying to understand this. I ain't in a relationship. But we ain't. Have, <laughs> it don't <laughs> exist without sex. You know what I mean? So yeah, we was fucking this shit. You know what I mean? And I ended up having a uh, suspicion that this was going on because I ain't no dumbass nigga. Like I know how that shit go. You know what I mean? So basically, I never addressed it. And then when I finally did, she lied about the shit. Then I guess girls are like this. Y'all love is the guilt hit y'all. They so the once down the line, <laughs> she That's said she, she lied right now, like you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she yeah. told the truth later, so the lie she told, is omitted. She told the truth on New Year's Eve. Damn, she why though? Like, she just came she out didn't and told want to go into the New Year with that, that on her chest. On her it's chest, chest, chest you feel me? Like, you know what? Yeah, she was on the chest, man. <laughs> I, mean, I, was like, I was fucking with her. And I was like, damn. I was like, damn. You could have waited until after the New Year. She didn't want to take that shit with her into the New Year. So. Yeah, and I be like, man, fuck that shit. I'm like, bitch, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? She was da 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 da. She 
like, oh my God, I just don't leave me type of shit. I'm like, nah, fuck that shit. I just couldn't deal with it. Like, yo, I'm a bitch ass nigga if I go back and be with you knowing you don't fuck the nigga. Okay, nigga. so when you but went back. But who else knew? When you went back. You heard the nigga knew. When you went back. <laughs> <laughs> the you were still with her after he had already done it, so. When you yeah, went back. That's you... when I resolved with my little issue within myself. Oh, so you didn't feel like a bitch ass nigga no more when you went back? Nah, because she, I said, the convincing was good. Oh, okay. How yeah. she convinced? <laughs> this is good. It was, it was the best head ever. Oh, she convinced you with head? Yeah. Smart girl. Uh, that, that was all it took? Ooh. Well, I was, it was off for like six months, so I was like, you know, so I'm just like, yo, at the end of the day, I ain't no nigga to hold on and like no grudges and shit, and I could be, I'm very understandable. So it's your baby daddy. We knew six months saying type shit. He feeling shit in your head like, that nigga don't fuck with you, he's he out here. He, Ooh, da, 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 I got da. one of them. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> that shit don't work for me, but I got one of them. So it was like, it was a situation like that, and I just like, after six months, I really ain't want to go back, but it was like, I ain't gonna need front head was amazing. And I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> and I did love the girl, but you know what I mean? Yeah, the sex, the, the good bad sex was. So, so why aren't y'all together now? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, cause you said, you know. I mean. She fought her baby daddy again? Nah, nah, hell nah. After that, you know what I mean? She ain't even, she ain't even play twice like that. But it was more, I mean, it's me. I'm, I'm just a wild ass nigga. Like, that's all. I'm, I'm. He just not the relationship kind. I really am. But I'm about I'm to say, I don't get that though. from him. But I'm confused. You don't get relationship from me? Right? I don't get that you're not the relationship. Because I, I, I am a relationship nigga. I like being in relationships. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be out here just fucking around, fucking for the streets and shit. You're and I like fuck around because you single. Huh? You ain't got to fuck around because you single neither, though. But I like having raw sex, too. So with that being said, I only want to do that with a person I know that we got a mutual understanding and respect. You're not fucking nobody, I ain't fucking nobody. And if that's the case, then we might well be in a relationship. You know what I mean? So, on the end, I fuck with you like that anyway. If I'm talking to you and I'm vibing with you on that level, that means I already fuck with you like that. So I ain't got no problem being in a relationship with you. So, yeah, I'm a relationship nigga, but I'm also like a wild ass nigga. Like, I get bored. You feel me? What so do you like, mean wild? Wow. What, what does that mean? I just need you to elaborate. Cause yeah, because you keep, you keep saying, saying I'm a wild no, ass nigga. What's a wild ass nigga? I get bored. Like, what you saying? So, eventually, bitch, I'm going to cheat on you. Never. I, nah, I ain't. So, like, so what, what do you mean? Because <laughs> he's shaking his head. No, he know what he means. What do I you know, mean? Because I'm confused. More so to just say, like, I get bored, man. So you like, like unicorns? <laughs> I'm like, do I like unicorns? Yeah. I don't know about that. I, mean, I might be a unicorn, you know what I mean? I say wild shit, so I take it like this. You don't know what so I'm I so about take this. it like this. This being a wild nigga, I ain't gonna say this a wild nigga, but let's say I go, I could be in a whole relationship, right? And we we may had a spat or a beef or some shit, and you probably been the start of it, and you never came back and resolved it with an apology or some shit like that, or we never resolved that shit. So I would hold sex for I would hold sex for a month as a nigga, bad bitch in the crib. But what? Why is that wild? Who the fuck cares? Do you know how many toys? And I'm gonna sit right beside you on the bed, legs wide open, right beside. I don't give a fuck. Well, you most do what you girls do. Most girls say like, you not fucking your girl off oh, of some love petty. You fucking somebody, somebody else, else probably. They gonna think that, they but gonna they, think and they don't maybe, even be that. Maybe, but you know if mean? somebody most is, niggas ain't doing that. Most niggas ain't holding out sex. Yeah, and usually the girl doing that shit. Most That's niggas true. is not. You gonna fuck your girl regardless, even when you mad. If I'm mad and you ain't resolve that shit. We, I don't even want, I, you only turn me on. I mean, that's how I feel too, so I'm just saying, don't fuck But me. it's usual for women to do that. Yeah, it's versus a man. All I'm going to say, all yeah, I'm going yeah, to tell you, he might not be happy with the things that I say about him in the house, because I'm going to just be walking bitch ass nigga. Keep trying to, <laughs> oh, you give a fuck? And now I walk past you and like, do shit like that to your dick. Is. <laughs> well, fuck, raggedy ass dick, yo weak ass. All right, this is another wild look. Come in real quick. Yeah, I would. I though. had an issue with, I had, this is a girl I was dealing with. We had an issue, you know what I mean, kind of like the weekend that she came out here and shit like that. And when I get, when I get like an attitude, then it get like wicked. So we had a whole issue and <laughs> we coming into the building and I see a girl that's bad as a bitch. And she see the girl too and we acknowledge that shit. And I was like, damn, yeah, that bitch just made my day. Because she was pissing me off. So I said, the bad bitch that I seen just made my motherfucking day right there in front of her. Mm -hmm. So we get in the elevator and she like, damn, I can't even believe you just said that shit. Like, you just really made me feel that way. Like, you said it out loud. It was cool if you thought it, but to say it out loud, <laughs> you know what I mean? How would you have handled that? She made mine too. I probably, 
Yeah, see, Rhonda could be on super demon time. Cause she, <laughs> now I'm dead ass. She, her demon time on some type shit like, now she finna leave you and slap with that bitch. Like, fuck you. Okay. She on you know, super demon time. <laughs> Real shit though. I'm a meat. I wouldn't give a fuck because I already leave, period. Yeah, I'm going to make your day. I'm going to make your day. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. Like. <laughs> what you want to do? Punch his ass. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make your day. She was tight by that shit. I'm going to make your day. We ain't got one week. Chill. We're going to have a break day after this. <laughs> Damn. What's that, what's that Marge Simpson? That mean? And it'd be like, she'd be like this and it'd be like, me. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's an example. I can't go too crazy with this. Shit. Yeah, no, you just enough. you petty, and I couldn't do it. No, you're like very you. petty because you will have me in the jail. You give me very much petty. You give me very much penitentiary. But you can go low. I'm going to hell. Yeah, you better bet that for sure. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't, and I don't be like doing that type of shit. So they giving me the electric chair. Of what? Off the beach saying I no, stop bitch my day? No, because it's not even what you said. It's because I know that you're intentionally trying, trying to make me mad. Yeah. So, bitch, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to give yeah, yeah. you what... I'm going to give you exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> this is what you want. Here, babe, have it. <laughs> I got it for you. I yeah, do. Because yeah. I know that it was on purpose. You wanted to get a reaction out of me? Here go your motherfucking reaction. So, that's the wild part, I would say. Yeah, don't I play definitely am like... Don't you're play, petty as I don't play I games like I'm that. petty, though, but... You are petty. I'm... I, I'm, I'm yeah, just, yeah. You're petty. I only play like that. And I match energies. You know what I mean? So yeah, and, that, we on. and that's when the energy would have been matched. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, like I said, we back and now we I'll be coming with some more heat and shit. Got some special guests coming up, but you're probably gonna see more of me and her and more of our personalities because that's what we're doing it for. It's cool, guess it's cool. I enjoy people that come on, we have fun, we laugh, we joke, but you know, woo, child. we ready to talk about some shit. Absolutely. And um, this is going to end part one. We will be coming back with a part two. Um, So stay tuned. All right. Peace. Ta-da. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Woo, child. Let's, Let's talk about, about it. it. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, guys. Thanks a lot. Until next time, and we're out.